Welcome to another edition of r1videos.com. Today we're going to show you how to change your front brake pads. You need a couple of very basic tools to do this job. A set of pliers. You can even use the pliers that are in your toolkit. Um, I've got a couple pair here just for making, uh, getting the cotter pins out a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to replace our stock OEM pads with a DP Sport Double H pad. Um, you're going to want to go with these double H pads, whether it's EBC, DP, SBS, whoever you use, double H, very important, you want to stick with that. Okay, we're going to start by pulling out two cotter pins here and here. Next, we're going to pull out the keeper pin here. Take your needle nose pliers, just reach in, give it a little bit of a pull there. It'll come out like that. Grab it. Pull that out of there. Next, we're going to take this out of here. This, this will fall out sometimes or pop out. Pull that out of there. It's very important that goes back in the same way it came out. It can't go in any other way. It goes in just like that. And next, we'll reach in, pull out our brake pads one at a time. Sometimes give them a little wiggle. They'll come right out. Uh, a little tip, while well, it's about halfway out, take and press on that pad. That'll push the brake caliper pistons back in a little bit so when you push your new pads in they'll slide in a little bit easier so there's one pad come out and about halfway out and then just kind of give it a wiggle back and forth and that'll help push those brake caliper pistons in just pull that guy out of there okay so we've removed the pad you want to replace your brake pads when they get down to two millimeters of pad life left here. Uh, we're going to measure with some calipers. We are right at two millimeters. Um, these are wearing a little odd. We're a little less on this side than we are on this side. We're not quite to that wear point. But we're replacing the pads anyway uh, to put an upgrade with the DP pads. Um, see the difference. So again we're replacing the stock pad with an aftermarket DP pad. DP is the the brand. Um, you're going to notice right away that these stop a lot better than the OEM pads even though the OEMs work very well. These are uh, phenomenal in initial bite and initial grab. These are a high performance pad, good for everyday use, track riding, racing. A lot of people really think these work uh, too well. I like a, a brake that with just two fingers it's going to stop and, and work well. This is this is that pad. They, they do an exceptional job. So for installation of these we're just simply going to take them, slide them back in, and you may have to do a little wiggling to get them in there. That one went in just fine. Other side. It's a little tighter. So we may have to take a screwdriver. Be very careful not to gouge your brake rotor, but take a screwdriver in here and just pry those pistons back just a hair more. Again, being careful not to gouge your rotor. Just take it and slide it all the way through and then pull back on it just a little bit. That's going to push those pistons in some more so you can get your brake pads to drop right into place. Okay, back of the pad, obviously the braking surface of the pad. The braking, the braking surface of the pad obviously is going to run on the rotor. I want to make sure we get that correct. That's going to slide in here with a little bit of work. Okay. Replacing the spring is going to be the next part that we do. We're going to slide this in here. You need to be careful when you put this in place, your pads may try to push out the front of the caliper. So just kind of hold, hold it with your finger there. Put the spring in place. You're going to take your pin. Some people like to wipe those down and coat these with grease. I don't like to put grease on any part of a braking component as it gets hot and may get on your rotors or your pads. Uh, so I'll just kind of clean it, clean it a little bit with a rag or, or just wipe it with my fingers. I'm going to take these holes, make sure they're pointing away from the caliper. So when you put it in, you can put the cotter pins back in. So we're going to take and just slide this guy in. Again, a little bit of a wiggle. Catch the back side of the spring. So we basically want this 
this rod is going to go right through the back side of the spring here. So make sure you catch that. If you don't, you, gotta, you, need to, you need to try again. Slide it in there. Catch. Take your finger around the back of the caliper. Press the back pad. Press it up. Push that in a little bit. A little bit of a wiggle. She slides right in. Take your keeper pins or your cotter pins. And put them into place. You'll feel a good solid grab. Same thing for the other side. That is why we had those holes lined up so we can get those back into place there. And we're done. We're going to do the other side the same way. When we're finished, we're going to come up to the hand, uh, the, the lever, pump that lever a few times, make sure they're grabbing. And then take a slow initial test ride to make sure they work. So that's it for replacing the brake pads. Very simple procedure. You can do it yourself. Uh, don't have to go somewhere and pay somebody to do that. That literally takes five minutes of your time. Not very difficult. Uh, you want to go easy for the first 50 to 100 miles braking on these so they beat in properly. Don't go out there and get on the brakes hard. Uh, do some gentle braking for 50 or 100 miles. Uh, until they break in. Uh, they will grab initially quite well over the OEMs, but you do want to break them into your rotor. This procedure is going to be the same for most R1s, uh, 98 through 2006. It's going to be a very similar pad, uh, pin and keeper. On the 07 through 2012, you've got a six piston caliper, so you've got uh, two here and another at the bottom. There'll be two pins to do. So there's a very similar procedure for all R1s. Uh, no reason you can't do this at home. Don't forget when you're done replacing the pads, come up here, pump that brake a couple of times before you go ride, because when you push these pistons in, you're going to lose some pressure up here at the lever. So don't forget before you go ride, just pump those, pump the brakes back up. And that's a wrap on replacing the brake pads on your R1. Thanks for joining us on r1videos.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. We'll